with Megan from Bookish Delights. And today's video, I'm going to be painting the pages of my books. This is one that I already did. This is Flanelle by the Sea by Lori Lico Albanese. And I painted the edges in like this dusty rose color. I tried to match the title of the book, but it's kind of hard. So I've always wanted to paint some more of my books. So I have a couple of books here, depending on how long this takes me, because I do have to let it dry. I might paint some more. These are just two hardcover books. You can also use a, a paperback. Just got to be careful. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it and show you what I use. I have left some things in my craft room which is at my grandmother's house and not here. So I am improvising on a few items, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. So these are my books. So what you will need are your books. You will also need, or this is how I'm doing it. Uh, you will also need like another stack of books for the weight to be able to weigh down the pages to keep them tight so just have a stack of hardcover books there you will need painters tape uh, some people use sponges other people use brushes I like to use brushes because it's easier to get close to the edge here as well as you can get pretty close into in there you also need your paper towels of course, your assortment of paints. I have a whole bunch here. And what else am I missing? Oh, you need a paint palette or something that you can use to put your paint on. I typically do have a paint palette, but I this is one of the things I left over in my craft room. So I'm just using like an old bit of yogurt packaging and then of course you'll need your cup of water and then I'm going to use parchment paper around my book and I'll show you that I'll get to that usually I will just like tape around the edge here with painters tape and it comes off really easy it doesn't damage the books but I want to make it a little bit more easier for me because that is a little bit tedious uh, so I'm going to try and wrap the front and back cover with parchment paper paper and tape it down with this and hopefully that will work. I forgot to mute my TV so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Uh, I might paint a couple of other books because I have the trilogy of uh, Daughter and Smoke and Bone paperback but I my plans were to use these like metallic paints but I just realized I don't have a yellow but I do have a bright yellow regular acrylic paint and I have gold and silver so I wasn't sure if I mixed the yellow with the gold if it would make a metallic yellow so that will be something that I will experiment with. I won't paint those books I'll just see if I can make the color first so for right now I'm just choosing these two so this one is so i'm just going to do these two books for right now and the first one is a room away from the wolves by nova ren suma this cover is beautiful and then i have moxie by jennifer Matteau. Math, Math, i think it's a french last name so i I'm not going to try and pronounce even more, but I figured I would do the end pages or the edges a nice bright pink. So yeah, let's just get started. I'm not going to know if if it's going to be uh, in focus because I'm going to be sat down and the way my camera is positioned, I can't tell if we're in focus. 
so uh, hopefully I will stay in frame as well so let's just get started this dry make sure it stays weighted down so that the pages are together and uh, you also want to make sure that the paint is evenly coated on the pages because you don't want it too thick on one side and too thin because it might like your pages might stick and I'm gonna go ahead and paint the other book because my battery is dying and I need to charge it. So I'm going to finish the other books off camera because like I have to wait for the books to dry and all that. So it's going to be a process anyways. So I will come back when I have them all done. So I am back. I did two books. I ended up not doing maxi because I realized that I didn't have the right pink and I didn't have a red or white to mix a pink. The only red that I had was like a metallic color and I want it to be a flat pink because there's no sparkle or shine or anything on the book cover. So I ended up going with Furthermore by Tahara Mafi to paint the other edges. So um, I should leave this for a little bit longer but I am a little impatient so I'm going to take the paint and the wax paper off now or the parchment paper and one of the books I did do with just painters tape and then the other book was the parchment paper like you seen I just wanted to see which one is easier uh, and honestly I think just going in with the painters tape along the edge is the easiest because I found that the painters tape doesn't really like to stick to the wax paper so I uh, let's just remove the tape be careful because sometimes uh, you you may uh, like if you take it off too quickly it might rip 
the book, especially like the uh, the end pages. Usually this side is not so bad. It's easier to take the parchment paper off. There's less tape you have to deal with, but I found that it was easier just to go with the painter's tape. Okay. So there are some messy edges with the wax paper is not really focusing that well. Well, as you can see a little bit around here, it uh, it was a little bit messy to get underneath the page, but that's that's okay. And I think it will be this, yeah, it's a little bit the same on this side as well. That doesn't really bother me. Okay, so now you'll notice that the pages are stuck. That is fine. That will happen. You just have to be very careful and start kind of like flicking the pages. You can't really see. Flicking the pages so it's like you're doing this and we'll start to come apart. Now you should wait for your paint to be uh, more dry because if you start doing this too early you might tear your pages so just be very careful so I'm going to continue doing this and then I'll hop back to when it's all like completely taken apart like I'm just this is going to take me a little bit of time because I don't want to accidentally rip any of my pages so I'm just going to keep flicking the my, the pages like this to get them unstuck from each other just be very careful when you're doing it. So I will come back when I have it all, both books done. Alright, so now I'm back. I have all of the pages separated. I had to, some of them I had to go in and separate it like page by page and be careful. And I had to be careful to not rip the pages. So be mindful that some of your pages will stick together, but the longer that it's like completely dry then it's easier to just like flip the pages to get most of it unstuck but you may have to go through page for page just to make sure none of them are stuck together and just carefully pull them apart and you should be good to go so I ended up doing furthermore by Tahara Mafi and A Room Away from the Wolves by Nova Ren Suma Two of these books I have not read, so hopefully I will like them because I really love how the edges turned out. I ended up not doing the other book, Moxie, because like I said earlier in the clip, I didn't have the right paint colors to do it or even to mix it. And I ended up not doing uh, The Diner of Smoke and Bone because... This actually takes a while to do and I didn't want to haul off all of my books on my shelves to stack. So I just figured two books is enough for now. Uh, some night when I have more time, I'll probably do some of my favorites, I like the Caraval series. I would like to do those ones with metallic colors. So what I did for, I'll talk about a room away from the wolves first I just did I had a flat purple but then I mixed in some silver it might be hard to see it on screen the lighting it's not great because it's dark out so I don't have a lot of light I have a shadow coming in from the camera and all that because I have a light behind it pointing it's yeah I, I don't have good light so you might be able to see some sort of sheen so that's what I did with this one this one is completely purple all the way around some notes with the wax paper I noticed that it did seep in underneath the uh, cover and got a little bit on like this page and also on the like the back like around here as well that's that does not bother me too much whatever I did miss a couple places by like the very edge like in here but that's again that's not really gonna 
bother me. If you don't look too closely, then you're not going to see it. So the next one I did was Furthermore, and this one, I wasn't sure what I really wanted to do with it at first because there's a lot of colors. And also, I just realized there's a fox on this cover and the recent book challenge that I did, was it recent? I don't know, a couple videos ago I did, do I have that other book challenge? I think that's it's, I think that's what it's called and one of the prompts was do you have a book with the facts on the cover and um, apparently I do I just didn't know it because I haven't read this so I don't know everything that's on this cover but it's a beautiful cover it is middle grade have yet to read it but uh, and I tried not to read any of the passages while I was flicking through it so what I ended up doing with this one is this title here it's just shiny it is glossy and it's like a blue color and then Sahara Mafi's name up here is like a purpley color and that's kind of blue and purple is kind of prominent kind of like in the book like that shade so I decided to start with purple on the top and fade it into blue I think I did pretty good work with um blending it together and then it just goes into blue and I did the same thing with the purple here I mix in the bit of silver and the blue that I had was actually too dark so I didn't have any white but I did have this like antique white cream ivory shade that I mixed in to make it lighter and then I mixed in a lot of silver and that helped it lighten it up so yeah I really like how the shade came in because I do have a metallic blue but I wanted the sheen, like the shininess, the sheen, glitter, whatever you call it, match the purple. So I figured if I used the metallic blue that I already had, that it wouldn't match the purple. So I decided to mix my own shade. And I really like how it turned out. Again, I did miss like a couple spots that was like closer into here. That's really hard to get in there without getting like paint everywhere so uh, again like it's, if you don't look closely at it then it's fine i really like how this turned out i would love to have all of my books to have some sort of edging that's all i did for this video i had really fun painting those i'm after painting quite a few of my other books and it's something that i really enjoy doing don't be afraid to paint on your books. Like if it's a book that you really love, I've seen people paint characters on the covers or scenes on the covers. They're beautiful. So like don't don't be afraid. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. Hope you guys like this video. Tag me in photos on Instagram or Twitter with any books that you decide to paint or any edging that you decide to do. I would love to see them. And let me know what is your favorite book and what color would you use for the spine, or not the spine, for the edging of your book. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to receive any notifications for whenever I upload a new video. Leave any comments, questions, concerns down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to get back to you and enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.